Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I write in a forest. I go into these collections of trees to do nothing but listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through each and every one of us. It's our calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 344, November 26, 2022. A few days off the annual passing of seasons, you know, when fall becomes winter. The tree limbs have thinned, allowing more sun to get in. The hours may be shorter, but the forest floor greets every ray of light with a united front of gratefulness. I've not seen many large black crows this particular journey. Might it be the bird flu? Science has released messages dealing with migration and how birds from afar could be carrying the virus into areas such as this. But it's quiet, this forest that which I've been blessed with. I'm not seeing the overactive bright red cardinals, the honking of the Canadian geese, and long gone are the gentle songs from the morning doves. As I sit here looking into the blue that shapes a Carolina sky, I do wonder, where is the natural music? I guess the global governments won't be locking down the bird world like they did with COVID. We'll just sit here in a moment, just to wait and see. When music from birds disappears. Psychologically, you pick up on it. Physically, you don't take note of it until your world stops. And that includes turning off the flat screen TV or any type of music that's playing inside your house or car. Just stepping out into nature and listening. And when the natural jazz disappears, your heart takes note. But as a human being, how can we bring something like that back? You can't. It involves patience, trust, the confidence that something might be going on. But maybe in your moment of now, there's something in nature taking place that doesn't involve you and you weren't invited to that particular meeting. But when the music of your forest stops and all you hear is maybe a leaf blowing around on the ground, you begin to wonder and you begin to worry. And then you have to say to yourself, I have to be patient. Maybe, maybe I'm making too much noise thinking about it. I'm Errol. These are not my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.